Go out in the sun, you're going to want to apply some sunscreen. Not only has the temperature risen, but so has the UV index, which measures the strength of the sun's radiation over an area. Now, new information from the Environmental Protection Agency says the UV index was expected to reach 10 today. And the EPA says during this time, you need to protect yourself against sun damage and also avoid the sun if possible. Yeah, best to stay inside if you can and with the UV levels sitting at those very high levels in Rockford today and sunscreen a must. 13 WREX checked in with a local dermatologist who says some facts about the sun protection may be surprising. 13 WREX's Emily McMinn has the story. Dermatologist Apple Bodemer recommends everyone use at least SPF 30 and always be sure to purchase a new bottle each year as the severity of the rays only continues to rise. The UV index is just going up. We are exposed to a lot more UV radiation now than we were even 30, 40 years ago because that ozone layer is getting thinner. And despite the added convenience that can come with using this spray form of the sun protection, Bodemer says its effectiveness is questionable. Not to mention, it can cause more allergies for people and have negative effects environmentally. I know they're really convenient, and especially if you have small children, sometimes that's all you can do is just kind of spray them as they run by. Um, but those chemicals, most of them actually get off into the environment, and they aren't actually getting onto the skin. Bodemer suggests using sunscreen as a backup, instead opting to wear protective clothes, especially for kids under six months, as sunscreen is not safe at that age. However, she does have a recommendation for the type that should be used as it tends to not seep into the skin. I recommend sticking with the mineral-based sunscreen. So that sunscreen that if you look on the back of the bottle or the can that it has an active ingredient list and that active ingredient list should say zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. And Bodemer suggests sunscreen applies to everyone as one in five people will be diagnosed with skin cancer by the age of 70. If you're somebody that doesn't really tan and if you don't really burn very easily, you do have some protection. But people of all skin tones do get skin cancer. And especially for those who might have darker, more pigment in their skin or darker pigmented skin, those skin cancers tend to be noticed later, and they tend to be more advanced when we catch them. Reporting for 13 WREX, Emily McMinn. And the dermatologist recommends reapplying sunscreen every two hours, focusing specifically on covering your ears and scalp. She also says to reapply even more frequently if you are in any sort of water, as the amount of time it takes for someone to get sunburned can vary.